Previously, we saw how we can make perfect structured mesh in the punch tool, and we did it properly by step by step meshing option. So, in this time, we will see how we can make mesh in other models. For that, let's hide the punch tool, and out of these two models, let's select any one. Now, I'm going to start mesh with the blank folder. So, we are going to use the similar option because the part also noticed to have four lines in each section so do the similar steps choose the end line measure tool and from here we can divide the lines by n number of elements so you can just simply select line one line two line three and line four and you can mesh it but you can see here as i said before if your lines the opposite lines don't have equal number of divisions you will always get unstructured mesh so make sure that you have equal number of elements in opposite lines so just click ok now so it works fine then what i'm going to do i feel it's fine just give ok then do the same thing for here line one line two line three and line 4 mesh it ok and then do the same things line 1 line 2 line 3 and line 4 so sometimes if you have a curvature try to increase n number of elements here if you don't get proper curvature shape but here it looks fine but if you want to increase you can increase there will be no problem and then for this also similar one two three and then four then mesh and okay then one two three and four So we did the mesh properly just hide the part and let's see how we mesh the shape so you can see it looks really nice but before that we have to find is there any duplicate nodes just to click this option and then show duplicate nodes and then merge accept I think we did the same process for the punch tool also let's check one more time Check the duplicate nodes, show it's all there, then click merge and OK. Because if you don't perform this one while you are performing the simulation, as I said before, you might experience like uh, some discontinuity or some separation while you are performing the simulation. So now it's done. So here you can keep it like this or you can do the similar step what we did for the punch in order to do the spinning rotation so let's try and do that step also so for that go to mesh tool option and click element generation and then select because we already selected the y option because we have to rotate the geometry with respect to y and here we can have like around 200 because it's almost higher than the previous one it's just user friendly you can even select 180 that's not a problem then select the edge so let's zoom and then here as i said before we just select only one edge in the element to increase the selection just to click propagate and adapt the element option and set the angle to 30 and select this line so it's done and then select this one and the rotate little bit so it's already selected so just create see you got the model properly so done so you don't need two two six because we already made a full model so we don't want to keep those models here so just to go here, select, delete, delete, 
delete delete and delete and then simply click accept now we can name this one as a two complete just accept then it's done see the model is meshed properly with texture elements so now we did two things one is punch and another one is a blank holder